everyone and welcome back to catharsis inc so it's a new day and a new week to go witchy decor hunting so let's go Now I'm popping it into Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to pop in here to Michael's to see if they have anything new out. I am headed to Marshall's to see what they got.
So it's a new day and I am headed to another Walmart and another Dollar Tree to see if they have anything else out. So let's go. Customer assistance to the pink down, please. Customer assistance to the pink down. Thank you. So today I am going to pop into Ross, Five Below, and maybe Michael's to see if they have anything out. So let's go. Now I'm going to pop into Ross to see if they have anything new. 
Now I'm headed to Five Below to see if they have anything out. So it is time to jump into this haul. So let's start off with TJ Maxx. And I don't believe I got any footage from TJ Maxx, but I did find some cute stuff. So I had been looking for this. It's, it's hand towels, but it's a vintage teapot with a vintage looking witch on it. And I was so excited to find these. It's a set of two. So I was really happy about that. And I also found these cute little ghosty notepads. Comes with a pack of two and it says, Ghostest with the mostest. <laughs> Thought that was so cute. And this was only $3.99. So that's a good deal for that. And then 
the next thing I got was actually for my kitchen and it's this spell book uh, cookie jar so you pull off this you know you hold the skeleton's head and pull it up but it also lights up I don't know if you can see it his eyes turn green I thought that would be a good addition for my kitchen uh, makeover and then the last thing I got at TJ Maxx is my pride and possession I think for the entire Halloween season but it is this huge witch's hat and I can't even get it all in frame but it lights up Let's see if I can turn it on for you there you go it lights up and I absolutely love this thing I found it it was like behind all this other stuff and I was like oh my gosh I gotta get it so I had to like maneuver some other stuff in order to reach this thing but I absolutely love it and it originally didn't have a price on and this was the only one so they ended up giving it to me for $29.99 and I'm pretty sure that's a steal like if this one had a price on it would have been at least 50 bucks what do you think let me know in the comments down below but this thing is huge I'm thinking it would have been more than that so I got a steal of a deal so next let's hop into what I got at Marshall's and I was really excited to find this thing I hadn't even seen it before but it's this witch's brew light up set can I get it to light up for you guys might need batteries oh bummer it probably needs batteries um, but yeah it's it's gorgeous it has the ink in the quill I thought that'd be perfect for catharsis hello catharsis ink but yeah it has the scroll and the potions and I just thought that was so neat so I picked that up and then I also found this gorgeous mug I absolutely love it it looks vintage with this vintage skull with a, a bowler cap I absolutely love that I think it's so cute love it love it and then I also picked up one of the PJ sets that I showed in the video Let's see if I can hold it up for you here without breaking my mug I don't want to break my mug there we go but it's this gray set where's the shirt here it is with the skull and the cr are they bats yeah they're bats I thought that was so cool skull has like a tree on it and then it comes with these gray pants and this seems like like a I don't know it's it's thin but it seems like a heavier quality material so shoot it doesn't even look like PJs it just looks like a track suit or a sweatsuit or something like that so that's pretty cool and then the last thing that I got at Marshall's were these non perils I absolutely love these things I get snow caps when I go to the movies and I love when they come out with the holiday themed bigger ones. So cute. And this was $3.99. And okay, that's everything that I got from Marshall. So let's go ahead and hop into what I got from Target. So in the dollar section, I found this cute little light up uh, candelabra. And I don't have batteries in it yet. But this was $5.00. I thought that was so cute and this would look really cute in a dorm like usually dorms you're not allowed to have candles lit at least back when I first started my college how many years ago oh my I'm aging myself 14 years 14 or 15 years ago when I first started college um, you weren't allowed to have candles I don't know how it is now but this would be cute for a little dorm room or anywhere that you're not allowed to have candles and then I also found this cute little cauldron. 
So, I'm not really sure. What are they even calling this? Oh, a cauldron shelf. That's what they're calling it. So, I don't know if, you know, you could do like... My idea was to actually uh, use chalkboard markers and write on this. But I guess you could sit maybe thinner potion bottles in there. I mean, it's not really thick. This is how thick it is. But if you wanted to put it on your counter or something like that. Oh, I just thought it'd also be cute to display your cookbook. If you have a, a, a cookbook, like a special one that you want to display, just put it in there. That would be really cute. Or on your altar, if you want to use it to display your book of shadows, that would be cute. Oh, great idea. Great idea. But I also found this other beaker. Now, if you would watch my last one, I had picked up the orange one. Now they have a pink one. So I was excited about that. And then this next item isn't necessarily Halloween-y, but it's got that witchy aesthetic. And it's this beautiful um, hand soap bottle. And I thought this would be gorgeous in my kitchen once I redo it into that witchy Edwardian theme. I just love that so much. And that was in the dollar section too. This was only three bucks. And they had different colors of the bottoms. I think they had like a cream a green and then this black and then I also found this um, I guess it'd be like a haunted house figure that you can paint it's called a PYO house I'm not sure oh paint your own that's what it stands for okay this is only three bucks and it comes with your paints and your little paintbrush I just thought that was so cute and I'm wondering if you could put a candle in it. There is a hole at the bottom, but there's nothing for it to escape out the top. I mean, you do have your windows there. Maybe a, um, one of those flameless candles you could put in there. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. That would be a good idea. And then they also had some Halloween shirts out in the men's section. So I picked this one up for myself. It's just plain orange and it has a jack o' lantern face on it. I thought that was so cute. So I got that. And then I also found some stickers. And these were over by the card section. But I got these little cute ones. And then this one comes with 234 stickers. And it's got 10 sheets in it. So you got your bats your pumpkins and your skeletons. Thought those were cute. And then I picked up some plastic bats. I actually have something in mind for these, um, a DIY project. So you'll see that in an upcoming video. And then I also found this cute little scrunchie with bat wings. I thought this was adorable. It was only a dollar in the dollar section, but it is so cute. Absolutely love that. And then, let's see, I found some cute little socks. And they say, I put a spell on you. And it's got beetles and potions. Thought those were so cute. And then I found some mini cookie cutters. So you got a bat, a witch's hat, a pumpkin, a coffin, a ghost, and a Frankenstein. I thought that was pretty good. And this was in, they were starting to put out like the Halloween baking stuff where, you know, the rest of the Halloween stuff would be. But most of that was completely empty. I mean, there was a few things here and there, but these are so cute. I can't remember how much these cost. Do I have the receipt here? No. I have too many receipts, guys. Grocery? Oh. Nope, I don't. Okay. But anyways, you get a set of six. So that's pretty good. Pretty cute. Pretty good. And then, okay, one more thing from Target, I believe. And it's this potion bottle that says Magic Potion. And it has a beetle on it with a cork top. 
thought that was cute. And they also had other designs as well. Can't I can't remember what they say. Something was maybe spider venom or something like that. But this was three dollars. And then Five Below started putting their stuff out as well. I was so excited. I found this Halloween shirt. And it's so adorable. I thought that was so cute. So it's just gray and it has all those characters on it. Absolutely adorable. They had a few other ones as well. I'm not sure if I got footage of that or not. Um... And then they had these reusable tote bags. And I got this one, the witchy looking one. Thought that was so cute. So that's everything that I got at Five Below. And then from Walmart, I picked up these cute little critters. I just had to have these for fall. Of course, I'm a forest witch, so anything dealing with the forest... Yep, you gotta count me in for that one. So these were $3, and these were in their dollar section as well. In Walmart's dollar section. Okay, that's everything that I got from Walmart. So now let's dive into what I picked up from Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree finally came out with their fall wax melts. And I, there's four different ones. This one has caramel and maple leaves. This one is white birch and blackberry nutmeg. And then this one is pumpkin chai and carrot cake. I'm really looking forward to this one. I think that'll smell good. And then harvest cider and cider donut. This one, actually, I can smell them, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Holy cow. Let me smell this one. Yeah. Oh my. Why didn't I smell these before now? Oh my gosh, guys. These smell so good. Holy cow. Yeah, I just picked them up and didn't even smell them. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, anyways, diving back in. I found these cute little Halloween pens, and it's a pack of 12. So you get three of each design. Thought they were so cute. Then I picked up more stickers and rub-ons. Who knows, I might already have hauled these. But with stickers, you can never have enough of those, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Here's the rub-ons. And then more rub-ons. And I like that on the back they give you ideas. like. You can put these rub-ons not just on paper, but like gift boxes, wood. This shows it on glass, a glass frame. I think that is so cool. And these might even go on those journals I had hauled um, during my Dollar Tree haul as well. The front of the journal. So that would be really cool too. And then for the kids, I picked up some Halloween candy. These are called the Boo Blings. So they're the candy rings and bracelets. Thought they'd like those. And then I found some glow-in-the-dark nail polishes. I'm so excited to try these. But I got this really cute purple color. It's really pretty here. Let me put these down so I can focus the camera, hopefully. But this one is, does it say? Spectrum really pretty dark purple and then I got x-ray which I think I don't know is that a purple too no it looks more bluish black I think and then I got what's this one called love potion and it's an orangish color really pretty love those colors and they had all kinds they had yellow reds they had ones for fall like uh mauves and a really pretty pink and 
different types of purples and and stuff like that so definitely be sure to keep your eyes out for those because those are really pretty then I found this cute little sign that says a spooky witch and her boo haunt here I think that is so cute so I picked that up and then I found some more window clings and these two are fall related but I just thought they were so cute of course these ones are forest critters so I just had to have these and then I found these and it says these are for floor and wall decor so these are more like decals instead of clings so I thought that was cool and then okay let's see what else we got in here oh I picked up some of these glitter vase fillers these are going to be for another DIY project that I'll be doing for you guys as well. So I think I got two or three of those. And then I finally found the Pick Your Poison um, wall decor. I had been looking for this one. And it's so cute. I absolutely love this. But it says, what's this one say? Witch's Brew spider venom and poison I thought that's so cute so I got that and then I got some more of these um, handmade cards really pretty it's it's glittery with the bats and says boo that's what the inside says then I got this cute one with ghosts and a haunted house. So cute. And then this one here I thought was cute. And oh, this one is really pretty. I love this one. And I think I mentioned this before, but um, keep keep an open mind about the cards because you can use them for anything. You can use them for your junk journals. You can use them as decor. Like if you just want to cut the front of the card off and then put it in a frame and just set it up, that would be, you know, that could add to your decor and look absolutely beautiful. Especially this one. This one, that is so gorgeous. I love that. That'd be awesome decor. And then, let's see, I got some kitty stickers. I'm not sure if I, did I literally just haul these? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> Look. <laughs> I gotta tell you a story. Something similar to this. So last night I went into TJ Maxx and I was like, oh my gosh, there's the cookie jar that I've been wanting. And it's the one that I literally just showed. So I bought it last night. And then today I get home from running errands and there's a box. I was like, what the heck? I thought everything that I ordered from Marshall's already was here. I open it up and it's that same <laughs> cookie jar. I seriously can't remember what I buy like oh but yeah okay I literally just showed this and I'm showing it again okay Whew. losing it guys I am losing it okay the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree are these draw drawstring treat bags and they come with 15 in each one I thought this concept was so cute So, I got a couple packs of each. They are so dear. I love these. And these you can use for your own kids. You can use for your children's classrooms. You can use to hand out during, you know, trick-or-treat night. So, they're really versatile. And then, last but not least, I went to Michael's. And this next item isn't really Halloween related. I mean, it's in that section still, but... It's this beautiful crescent moon wreath, 
and I have a plan to do a DIY with this. So I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do. And then I also got some scrapbooking supplies. So I picked up these die cut shapes. And here's what they look like on the back. thought those were really cool. And then, what are these called? These are just regular stickers. And they're more witchy themed, so I absolutely love those. And then more die cut shapes. Love the candelabra, wow. And then, okay, some more. And these are vintage looking people. Absolutely love these. Those kids are so precious. Then I picked up a sticker book. And these are gorgeous. I love the Bride of Frankenstein. I absolutely love her. So these are will be so good for my junk journaling. Wow, these are beautiful. And you even get some alphabet letters. Cool. And then here's another sticker book. Ooh, potion bottles. These are beautiful too. Wow. And yeah, I haven't looked in it yet. <laughs> As you can probably tell. Ooh, crystals. Oh, love this. Oh, look at those plants. Get out of here. These are gorgeous. Wow. Love those. And then, let's see. Here's some stickers. More witchy stickers. So cute. And then... Did I get these at... I guess I did get these at Michael's. I think they were in the Halloween section. But they're these real um, little rhinestone stickers. So I want to use them for some Halloween uh, junk journaling as well. And then I found this wooden plaque... I guess it's not a plaque, it's a tabletop decor. It says potions and spells. So you know I had to get that. And then I also found this glass flask and stand. I actually have some of these beakers in my bedroom and I put plants, uh, real plants that come out of them. So I just fill this with water and put the roots in there and they just hang over. It's really pretty. So I picked that up and all this was in the Halloween section. And then these next ones are breakable so let me try not to break them. They are the potion jars that I was after. So it's this really pretty purple and it says toad tongues and I think yeah the the jar seals so that's really nice you can put you know whatever you want in there tea bags or candies or what what have you and then I have two more that go with that same line this one is uh, it says poisonous and it's, I guess that would be a bluish, a bluish color. Hopefully that's coming through okay. And then I have one more. And then I think that's it. Whoop, the lid almost came off. Whoop, that would have been bad. Okay, this one is toadstool clippings. And this one is uh, black. 
but that is my entire Halloween haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.